today, Missouri, we hope. Doggies, let's go. Stella, I just stepped on the hair on your butt. Yep, when I accidentally stepped on the wimpy dog's tail, I mean Stella, sorry, and she yelped. <laughs> Oh, we left a patch of fur on the steps. Oops. Oopsies. Wimpy dog, wimpy dog, wimpy dog. This is our spot at, what is this? Lake Lou Yeager, Litchfield, Illinois. There's the campground. Taking the doggies for a walk. This is uh, twenty dollars a night, and uh, you know, pretty basic for a campground. But we're getting to where we like these. Very peaceful and quiet. Although something is a little bit weird to me, and I've always been told, is that if you have a red handle, then that means uh, non-potable water. We parked at a spot that has a blue handle, which means potable water. I don't know if it mean, makes a difference out here, but a lot of these spots have red handles. This was nice other than the smell of garbage. Looks like there's some permanent residents here, which I'm always alarmed by. Henry's Rabbit Ranch in Stanton, Illinois. Love the signs. Campbell's 66 Express. Humping the please. If I go around this truck, oops, excuse me. You see its symbol up there. What's his name? Storm and Norman. Humping to please. I believe the company was based in Lebanon, Missouri. They, I don't think they exist anymore. This is an older alignment of 66. sign is here it is which is like a place in Arizona 250 miles from Chicago the theme of this place is all rabbits so we have rabbit hinge made of VW rabbits as they are known in the States <laughs> I like the, the camper on the top. It started as a hobby and it's still a hobby. <laughs> yeah, I never have looked at it as work. And up until December 1st, I did uh, two other jobs from in there. Mm -hmm. I was with the same company for 34 years as an insurance agent. And it, it's been fun. It's um, been very rewarding. Uh, I never dreamed in 1995 when I started doing this that 66 would develop into what you see today. Yeah. I just still can't hardly believe it. You know, it's like, pinch me, I'm dreaming. And uh, I've kept my very first page in this book that I have you signed. Uh, uh, 
let's see, right here. Here's the very first page Whoa. from 1995, and the rest is history. It just every year we have more travelers than the year before. I've never seen a decrease. And like when our economy went bad in 08, it was supplemented by the people from Europe coming over. Because yeah. it was a better value for them with the dollar, with ours being our economy bad, people could come over here and travel cheaper, they told me, than go into the country next door to them. You know. So I would like to have you sign sure. our guest book. Please. <laughs> yeah. And do it your way. <laughs> no, here, yeah. Five, the date. Oh, put the, the ad? Cinco. Right. Cinco. <laughs> yeah. So, but uh, no, like I say, this has been uh, not not a dream come true because I never really dreamed of doing this. Mm -hmm. It was just something that happened, and I've never planned any of this. It's just like uh, putting a jigsaw puzzle together. You know, the jigsaw puzzle, at least you have a picture of what you're trying to do. Uh, with this, I have no picture, but I'm putting these pieces in the place. And uh, one time somebody asked me, they said, when are you going to have the puzzle completed, the, the last piece? That'll be in the day I pass away. The yeah. last piece will go in the place. And, uh, but it's been fun. I'll keep doing this as long as uh, the good Lord willing and my uh, health Sorry. allows me yeah, to uh, really con continue to do this. Know do you know well. some on the route? I know a lot. Okay, so you probably yeah. have you heard about Gary? Gary Turner. Gary Turner. Gar yeah, he yeah. passed away two years ago. Yeah. I used to talk to Gary on the phone. Okay. Mm -hmm. I never met him personally. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, all the time he did it, we would talk to each other on the phone. We yeah. never, every time we visit, we uh, always come and talk. He we were told to go up talk. there by the ladies at um, Boots Court. Okay. So we went up there, and it was Halloween, and yeah, they said, You'll spend, you plan on spending 20 Two minutes hours. and you'll be there six hours later still talking to him. And that was exactly right. Six hours? Yeah, six hours. But he provided you with drink and food mm -hmm. and, and Halloween candy. Halloween yeah. Candy yeah. Candy yep. we oh, there. Halloween. Yep. Oh, gosh, I would have emptied out the candy bowl. <laughs> I, I would have been seeing the dentist afterwards. You know. He was very passionate too. Oh, he, he was. Like the people, he, he doesn't even care about this. Just wants he to had talk more people. passion than anybody I've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there used to be a guy up in Springfield, Illinois. His name was Bill Shea. Mm -hmm. And I first met Bill in 94, same time I met Bob Waldenauer. Uh -huh. And uh, oh, okay. Bill had a passion. And I always told Gary that he was kind of like a newer version of the Bill Shea. Okay. Well, Bill passed away uh, not too long before Gary did, oh, which is sad. It's but it's neat that you guys met him. You know, I didn't. I talked to him, yeah. but I never yeah. face to face. I bet those are some long distance bills. <laughs> uh, Me too. He didn't care, and uh, a lot of times uh, I'd call him back because at that time I could text and duck my oh, phone bill. Yeah. yeah. You know, but Gary oh, was yeah. a terrific guy. Oh, yeah. I like the hair it is. Yeah. I yeah. Those are neat people, too, the, the here it is people. Yeah, I've talked to them, too. Yeah. Because uh, back in 03, or actually 99, when I did the Henry's Rabbit Ranch name, I thought, oh man, I probably should have asked them about it. <laughs> and you know the they take it as a compliment. Oh yeah. Well, you could put a sign up um, X amount of miles to the well, other one. Here's what I like. Been, they used to. You're, you're reading my mind. Yeah. I want to get two pieces of two by four uh, mm -hmm. plywood, outdoor plywood, and. One of them I'll have made Jackrabbit Trading Post, Joseph City, Arizona, with their Jackrabbit on mm -hmm. it, uh, 1140 miles, because I've Google searched, that's about yeah. it. <laughs> then the other piece I have made, Henry's Rabbit Ranch, Staunton, Illinois, 1140, and send that out to them. Yeah. And I'm, I'm sure Antonio would, you know, put it up. You know, talking about rescue animals, these are uh, uh, Don't the all uh, rescue uh rabbits and uh, 10 of them that I have, six are from a shelter in St. Louis. In fact, yesterday we had our annual bunny expo mm. with a fantastic turnout. And the other four are ones that I've rescued here in Staunton, with the last one being about eight weeks ago, this little guy named Hubert. Yeah. That's named after my father. <laughs> and it uh, just tears your heart that people can just 
Mm. Abuse animals. And you, you just love rabbits, is that? No, I love all animals. You love all animals? Um, you know, I have a sign here that says, no discussions on politics or religion. <laughs> rabbits are roots of these six, that's okay. But <laughs> on the politics, I do make an exception. I get political, political for animals. For animals. <laughs> yeah. And I support, like PETA, the Humane Society of the USA, mm -hmm. uh, Defenders of Wildlife, and a um, few others. I mean, there's so many of them, mm -hmm. you know, and then you get on a, a list and everybody's sending you wanting money. Well, you got to <laughs> pick and choose and limit yourself to what you can do. Yeah. But, um, the, the animals I have a passion for, and uh, the bunny rabbits just happened to be the ones that came along and became part of Henry's Rabbit Ranch. Mm -hmm. That's what made it Henry's Rabbit Ranch, or the bunny rabbits. When I first started doing this in 95, I didn't know what direction I was going with, and in fact, I probably still don't, but I caught it Henry's Old 66 Emporium. Mm -hmm. And in 99, when I started off with 15 rabbits that I rescued from uh, my daughter, I decided that time we had the Volkswagen rabbits to call it Henry's Rabbit Ranch. And things have been hopping ever since. <laughs> and it was really hopping back in '03. I had 49 rescue bunnies. Mm. And at that point, one day somebody said you should have um, 66 because of Route 66. And I thought, man, maybe 17 more. And it finally started making me realize it's time to um, let the numbers start going down. It's hard to keep clean. <laughs> well, and it's that, these are really clean in here. Well, and the uh, my age. Yeah. You know, right now I'm 70. Chances are um, some of these bunnies are going to outlive me. Yeah. You know, unless the Lord uh, gives me a very long life. You know, Hubert, he's only uh, eight week, eight months old, according to the vet, when she uh, neutered him, and so if he lives another. Uh, 10, 12 years, I, I don't th know if I'll live that long. <laughs> you know, I hope I do, but, you know, so at some point I do got to say, hey, that's it. But the shelter in St. Louis said if anything ever happens to me, that they will take care of them. So <laughs> that's the consolation. Now you're here in Staunton, Illinois, and we hope that uh, if you see this somewhere, YouTube or on the internet, that you'll stop in sometime. You know, we're here most of the time, but every once in a while I'll take off and do 66 myself with people. Yeah. So how was that? Great. Thank okay. you.
So we've stopped in Pacific, Missouri for a little break. This is a very picturesque part of the route. Uh, I should talk to the camera. Picturesque part of the route. And uh, downtown is kind of dead, unfortunately. But if you like trains and you like sheer bluffs, this is very pretty. St. Clair, Missouri, where I guess they have to have different water towers for hot and cold water. I don't know, it could be efficient. 